Hi everyone, it's Sheena from For the Love of Paper. And I have these little frames that I have um, had sitting on my desk for several days now that I started the other night. I'm going to finish them off. And then I have a couple other things to uh, show you. So instead of keep sliding these around every time I wanna record, I'm just gonna finish them. We're gonna finish them off. So I have art glitter glue, um, and I probably should go ahead and turn on my hot glue gun because these metal pieces probably are going to need that. So I already put the backing on these little frames. It's just like a piece of, uh, like scrapbook paper. And we'll start with this one. And I just pulled pieces to layer them up. Some are th Tim Holtz, some are Tim Holtz like dupes. Um, the people are Tim Holtz in the uh, chipboard style. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put these together. I um, have uh, finally, I think, I think I've finally figured out my um, camera arm after all this time because I don't have a lip to this desk. So it's, that's crooked. It's the boxes in the back that are like throwing me off. So if I just look from the space of the frame. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I, um, it's connected to, you see I changed my pin, uh, like a, a large folding table beside me. And then it's got like a bunch of different things, my sewing machine. Um, so <clears throat> it's, cause that's hollow and it like has this thing and then you have to twist this other piece up. That's really descriptive, isn't it? Um, but anyway, um, the table naturally starts to get a dip in them. That's how card tables are if you get the Walmart brand anyway. So, um, I, um, I wonder if that was supposed to be over top of that. I don't know. Cause I feel like more of that should be showing it's essentially going to cover the whole thing up really I don't know this is what happens whenever I start talking so anyway I have uh, put a piece of acrylic block like you use for stamping and um, a piece of foam to compensate for where it bows so that kind of squishes it's pretty thick and this thing is not moving. Like even whenever I, um, like there I just tapped it, but it would like fully cave at times, especially whenever I was trying, what I was going to do was start this video and I was trying to get a little bit closer so you could see what I was doing, which prompted me to start messing around with it. And then it did fall over and from there, I had to figure out a way to fix it more permanently, I guess you could say. I definitely want that. I don't know where that bug was, but this is gonna go on here. Last night, after I did that video that took until this morning to upload, um, I cleaned the two rolly carts I have in front of me. So those are now fully cleaned out. Some of my stuff didn't, like some of the rest of my order didn't come today. Um, but that's fine. It's allowing me to do some crafting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's still okay. I have these little, uh, 
metal. Yeah, it's definitely getting covered up. Maybe the bug can be over here. Nothing ever comes out the way I originally planned it, that's for sure. Nope, the bug has to be over here. And it's gotta be right there on the edge, like that. These little pieces are hard to maneuver with chubby fingers. So yeah, hopefully this works better. It's like everything is coming together all at once, which I love. Maybe I'll put it here. There, and then put him. He should stick with just this art glitter glue, I'm thinking. And I'll probably have to wait till I've done them all to glue on the metal pieces with hot glue. Some people do not like hot glue. I'm not that person. I really like putting embellishments on with hot glue. go and then these scissors will go like right in here somewhere maybe even this way like right there or something like that so make sure he's solid and then we'll set that one off to the side and do this one I have some girls to do too but um, I had already laid all these out they other than picking out the girls, I haven't done anything for the other frames. They're like a more feminine style, but with the Tim Holtz girl chipboards. Just making sure I'm putting the right pieces down first. Um, That goes there. Another bug here. Just trying to make sure I have these pieces together and then the wrench will probably go like right there. Okay. So this can go down. There we go. I, um, for the most part, pretty much have everything from what I think in their proper spots. Like everything that's coming in, I have boxes for them. The paper that I showed you yesterday, that's the more, um, uh, like muted tones, kind of like, uh, William Morris styled stuff I bought uh, I've always wanted one so I was like just do it um, I bought it was only $20 on Amazon it's one of those they kind of look like a um, treasure chest that's the word I'm looking for and um, it's large it's like maybe 11 inches by six inches by eight inches if you can picture that and that's what that's going to go in it's going to take a little bit to get here and um i should get a wipe instead of keep getting sticking my fingers in it um i know there's a glare on him from the light above me, but it's dark and I won't otherwise see. So yeah, everything's organized now. I got rid of one, two, three, four, um, like photo boxes, shoe box style boxes. I got rid of four of those, 
One, two, three, four, five. No, I was gonna stick that on with that. That's not gonna work. Um, five plastic bins that I had stuff stored in. Um, just by being able to organize, putting things with like things. Um, I had done like de-stashing back in like September-ish. Um, and my friend, she may be watching. Hi, Jessie. Um, I let her take it all. So everything now should have its proper places to look for them whenever I'm doing different things. You know what? That's the opposite of what it should have been, I think. I think that should have been lower. The mushroom should have been lower. Look at me talking. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. This should have been lowered to sit on top of that. And I'm certain that's co not coming off now. So what can we do? What can we do? How about we start it down here at the edge of that one? Ha ha! Like that. Move him over a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is gonna have to go like a different direction. I can't have everything going the same way, but at least I have an idea now. Yeah, so I liked being able to pare down. I did get new boxes for some things, just so it's kind of accommodates everything fitting in one. And I had had, I did have <laughs> um, over like closer to my kitchen, because this is an all open area. This would be a living room if I chose to have it as that. It's not a living room. It is my work from home space and my craft space. So, and they like mirror each other. Like this desk mirrors that desk over there. I have two rolly cards in between. Uh, just because that was more, I don't need a living room. I don't even really watch TV, so I just didn't feel it was necessary. But anyway, I had boxes over on this like shelving unit that's, below a window and was able to pretty much bring all those things over here with the exception of um, uh, what are those things called? Embossing folders. But my big shot's over there so if I needed to grab it I would grab those. So that's okay but everything else is um now right here in reach something is crooked i can't tell if it's crooked or if it's because that paper is crooked it's really throwing me off and then this is gonna go maybe like that okay let's go ahead and put him on there see if that's dripping yet not really so once everything comes in, I will then label. It's like confirmed in its right proper place. I will label and then I will do a tour. So that is the plan. Oops, sir, you need to move up a little bit. Your feet are off, Anne. Um, I don't work again until um, I feel like I want it that way. I don't work again until January 8th. I always take off the first week of the year. I might have said that in one of the videos. 
So, um, I love these. Um, I'm hoping that I can get all that done before I go back to work and start the new year in some type of orderly fashion. In my cleaning out, I found last night, I had started, I guess it was uh, Cafe Analog, had a monthly like collage prompt or like you respond to these prompts or you pick a few and then make a collage or write something down. Well, I found that. Do you know what month I got to? I only did January. So I don't know if, uh, well, I know in the midst of everything that happened come February, that's where it all changed, but now I'll have the, he is to prop against something. So that cannot possibly be on that side. It has to be on this side here. And he kind of has to be propped against that. To some degree. Maybe he's propped against this. I don't know what I was thinking. He's propped against this, this way. Oh my goodness, these fingers. Maybe like that. And, oops. I don't like that that high. I almost prefer it lower. Maybe more even, I don't know. I'd probably put that too high. And this is longer, so. I'm not sure what I was thinking here. That has to be higher to look somewhat right. It's like almost I need another piece of something. That is my last one, so. There's no other pieces around. This has to be a lot of space. Hmm. What was the plan? I'm just going to get the box because this is not working. is the box and let me put it over here there's little more things in these um, tins these little pieces that goes up That looks too pink. I like it being bigger, but I don't like that it looks pink. So, can you see this little tin? That. Is my little dilemma. I don't know. If maybe just saw one right there. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Oh, 
this one right here. This one's bigger, I think. We'll put that white side. It's off kilter. Sometimes these Tim Holtz things um, can be off. Hmm. Not that one either. What if I do something like that? Can he fit? Hmm. He really needs to come over. little red. I can't get it apart. Too close to the other red. So how about in behind here? Mushroom, may you go there. Potentially. He has to go, so this needs to come a little bit more this way, like that, even more. Mushroom. Wrench. Okay, I'm okay with that. That one came from in there? I don't know. It's going back in there. this back. Well, I can't move it back because I have to move things to get that back. It was easier to get it out than it is to get it back. So, um, let's see if we can get this right where it needs to be based on what I just did. And then this one. I already feel like it's not going to be off, but the general idea. I do have glue on my hands. Okay. Now he, uh, it's about the same. He needs to lean against that. Kind of like that, sir. Did I leave enough room? Mm. Okay, like that. Wrench, mushroom. So, you know what I need to do? I need to put this down first. You guys are probably saying, well, if you put the other one down, you would know where it needs to go. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Now, he needs to be here. So that needs to go there. All right. Had I done that in the first place, that probably would have been much easier. And now this little mushroom, I feel like there's a piece in there that needs to pop out, but I'm not sure that it wants to. Again, sometimes these aren't like fully, I don't wanna rip it, but it's definitely not pop, oh, maybe. There we go. Okay, so that's gonna go there. These little mini things are not made for hands like these. Ugh, it's like stuck to me. All right, that's gonna go there. These going here. 
edges. So it's like just catches the end of that. It's like covering that up is what I prefer. Probably mushroom should have um this way a little bit. Can you, will you? Without being crooked. Okay, nope, we're leaving it right there because I'm really testing the waters here. Nope, has to stay. Has to stay right there. Okay, let's put this one on. So we'll just act like that boo-boo did not happen. Put him there. Turn on a little bit like that, okay? Ugh, I feel so bad. That needs to be just a little bit that way. All right, and then the wrench. I'll show you what these look like. I found them for $2 at an antique market mall in like one of the little booths. So bag of mini metal tools for crafts and there's scissors and wrenches and uh, like socket wrenches. I forget what this is called, hammers. There's even a screwdriver in here somewhere, but that's a little, like right there's one. Do you see that? And it's bent. It's it's uh, top right there is bent, I don't know. Not all of them are, but yeah. I was like, as far as Tim Holtz grungy stuff, this is a win, and I don't even know how many are in here. I didn't count it, and it doesn't say, so. But sometimes you just got to be open to digging and looking. Okay, so this can go back and my pin. I actually, this is the pin that was always in this. And whenever I move those rolly carts and clean them, it was up underneath there. So the original is back in. Okay, so now we can glue on these metal pieces. This is gonna be tricky for sure. Yep, it's definitely ready. Because, well, first of all, metal is gonna get hot when it gets glue on it. And I need to be ready to put it down right away. So I'm just going to not even really squeeze like what's oozing out just rub it around a little bit if that makes sense and we'll put it down just like that okay and that's pretty good it's not going anywhere. You could always hot glue it if it popped off, like you were putting it in something and got up underneath it or whatever. But yeah, there's that one. This one should be a little bit easier because which side's up? I don't think they really have a side that's up. No, but we're going to make this side up. So I'm just ever so slightly squeezing and then, whoa, that wasn't so slight. And then using that to smear it around. Wrench is gonna go there. Oh, I love these. Okay. If I get the girls done, which I probably, well, I will, because I have a lot of time on my hands now, since I'm gonna be off. This is the hammer, and I think I want the hammer that way. Nope, 
that way. It just sits right. It just sets better. So that's what I want to say. Um, whenever I do the girls, I'll put them in my Etsy as a set. Boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. If that made any sense at all. Okay. saved it. Prefer it to be lower, but it's going right there on top of that mushroom. I know these things because they have a sheen on them, have a glare, but it's not going anywhere. It's good to go. I'm so glad I found these things. All right, this one. No, nope. I don't know why certain them facing a certain direction just makes it right for me. I'm also at the end of this glue stick, but I don't want to add another one and then make a lot come out, so. I want to be able to manipulate it a little bit. Okay. There's one little string right in there. There we go. So we have that guy, this little boy, and this man, and this man. And they're like uh, 3D because these two are raised pieces. So I think those are super fun. What am I at? Oh, the, the thing is counting upside down. 32 minutes, okay. Well, I'm so glad that those are finished. Now, there was something I wanted to show you. What did I want to show you? When I started this video, I thought, oh, at the end I can show you something, but now I don't know what that something was. Um, well, yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna put this bin back really quick. Then I'm going to show you guys some two new packs that did come today. And they will need sorted out and put away. But um, this one, well, all, all this is from Amazon. Oh, I thought of something I could show you. It wasn't what I had originally thought, but so this piece of packaging, I'm definitely going to keep. And this is a hundred different pieces and I'll just kind of like flip through them. I'm sure I have something already like this. This is going in the white bin I've been adding pieces to. So these are the neutral, this one's the neutral pack, and then the other one has a little bit more color to it. They're just like tickets, tags, different styles of, um, and they're, they're just paper, they're not, uh, they are paper, they are not um, stickers. So that pack I'm going to sort and put in there. These little things I still need to put in there that I dropped in here the other day. And then this is another pack of a hundred. Please keep the, um, packaging. And then these are like different shapes, different colors. Oops, more like a, uh, oh, I'm sitting on my foot and then tingle their back. Um, like ornate borders, different colors, 
just to add like a more, it's crinkled. Um, do you guys get annoyed by stuff like that when you buy something brand new and it's crinkled? Um, I'm saying that because <laughs> yes, yes, it partly does annoy me. <laughs> it's supposed to be brand new. Um, yeah, so these are just different colors of these frames. Um, blues, greens, reds, browns, but they all have essentially the no words, well, minimal words, and more the frame pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and put that down because I'm getting too much in my hand, but that needs to go at the bottom with its partner down there. And they need to go. Okay. So here's the rest. Little bows. Yeah, I'm still trying to think of what that was that I originally wanted to show you. Um, plant collection. I really like that one. I don't. I just don't know. I'll remember afterwards. The tulips. Wishes. Have a nice day. These are getting bigger. I should go back. Vintage style. Some moons. And then that floral one. So those are all going to get separated and put through there. That packaging is going to be turned into something. So I'll put that back behind me. And then this, some of these pieces, I will omit probably this hunk right to here, right to here. This hunk I pulled out of that Tim Holtz bin the other day because they're stickers and they're faux Tim Holtz to put in the faux Tim Holtz bin. So these are just like thin paper stickers that I pulled out to put where the stickers like this are. And there's, some of them I've used, but some of them still have their pairs. Um, but these are all stickers. What's behind there? That one, these are a couple tags. These tags are probably from, um, because they're stickers, uh, AliExpress. This I found on the floor, but again, that's probably from AliExpress and it's a sticker. And then there's two. So then this, I'm thinking, nope, fibbing, this all is part of that too. These, that's, that's why I know it is, because there's another one of those. Um, here, tulips. Butterfly, tulip, butterfly. Now this all came in a pack together. So those need to be filed. I'm gonna, I have a bin I've created that just says it's a, what's her name? Oh, how am I gonna forget her name? The lady that uses all capitals. Um, You know what's coming to my mind? Ann Gettys. <laughs> not, totally not right. Um. Oh my goodness. I wonder if it has her name on it. Um, Ray Dunn. Yeah, see this? Uh, that right there is what I'm talking about. Ray Dunn. Uh, I have this bin that I'm just starting to put, like things that need put away in, like filing. So we'll start with, there's these stickers that came in it. These stickers, these stickers. This is the biggest paper. I love this little pouch. That's definitely going to be turned into something. So we'll start with the paper. And this is approximately five and a half by just shy of eight. And it's single sided. But these um, bigger pieces. Of course, some are upside down. Butterflies and mushrooms. And then the next size is five and a half by four. These also are single-sided. 
And this is just like a pack of, does it say on there? Um, doesn't say how many pieces did it say on it? Oh, I don't have the packaging anymore. Um, like the, the wrapper is what I'm talking about. I love anything with, uh, this to me is, um, I don't know if you can see that. So if you look at like the printing, this one's a lot more faded to me than this one. This one's a little bit sharper. That's sometimes how things happen whenever you get these, but it's collage and you just add on top. So like this one looks like it was blown up. And that one's even off kilter a little bit, but it's fine. I don't mind at all. So I'm just gonna stick them back in there because they will need put away. Is there something down in there? No, just the packaging. Okay. All right, and then there's these little like cardy pieces. Yeah, mushrooms sunflowers I don't know what that is flag uh, oh my goodness I cannot read that yep not sure um flagellaria is I can't tell if that's an n or an r and I don't have my glasses anywhere near here and I really like this blue butterfly a lot and then these are like three by three. So this is vellum. That's a vellum one. Vellum. Love the mushrooms. This is more like a collage piece. Dragonflies. Floral. I love that. And then these are three by fours, just pieces of paper. They'll be good for like a rainy day theme or something and that. And then let's do this one first. What are we at? 42, okay. I have to read it upside down. Okay. These are like vellum stickers, so just go through butterflies, mushrooms, butterfly, there's a rose, it's like a faux stamp, mm, I love mushrooms, mushroom, butterfly, just going through these pretty quick. I would say maybe 30 of these, if I was guessing. That's like a rose with some postage, mm, mushroom. See like this one and this one, I'm not a super fan of. But like that one, that one I like much better but you usually get some that you like and some that you don't in each pack. It's just a variation. Um, and then these two like postal pieces. So there's those, these are, oh, I gotta get off my foot. Um, these are stickers, but more like tag style. Nope, they're not stickers actually. They're actual little tags. So there's this little mushroom little something something <laughs> butterfly mushroom another flower dragonflies flower Indian plant brush rose mushroom butterfly oh I like this one poppy you are everything when you are with me and everything is you when you are not. And everything is you when you're not. Well, you lost me on the last part. Okay, and then these are strips. I think these are stickers, but I could be wrong. Oh my goodness, my poor foot tingles. 
Yep, this is a sticker. So it's a uh, strip. I've never seen these before. I think that's one of the reasons why the packaging is stuck to me. Come off. Um, one of the reasons why I, that probably goes that way, got these is because I had never seen anything like these strips before. And I really like them. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know. That's questionable. These little tickets. More tickets. Oh, my poor foot. Some more little tickets with flowers. There's two more here that are floral. And then these are like these circle things that are strips too. I guess you could cut them down, but um, I think they're just unique the way they are. So there's that pack. And again, this is from Amazon. So now that I've shown you all that, um, let me file these two. And when I do that, you get to see. The magnitude of packaging that I need to do something with. All right, let me zoom you out. Remember this box I got the other day at um, Joanne's? Well, the lid is a little tight. I will admit that. It's just the way that it is. All right. This. I guess it's that direction. This is all my packaging that I have been collecting to turn into things. It is now all in one spot. Some of it's cut up. These are the ones I just cut yesterday. Um, there's some of these pieces. Um, that's like more like a collage. There's these like... These all can be turned into something. These like little booklet pieces. Um, here's collage pieces from something that kind of packaging. Those. So I'll go ahead and put these in there. Yeah. Littler ones. These little colored sacks that are like vellum. Yeah, this pocket, love that. I actually turned these into ephemera bundles before. They look like they're postcards, but it's packaging. Little envelopes here. These are the little sacks from yesterday. There's some Tim Holtz. Yeah, so much that is to turn into something. So that's going to definitely be, these could be like, I don't even know what, something, something. But yeah, I just, this is just like a cellophane piece that could be turned into a window. So yeah, oh, that's just random. Is there anything on that? Nope. I guess it found its way. But yeah, I just wanted to show you because I know I said to you before, oh, I know I have a lot more packaging pieces than that. Well, this whole box is full of them. So that's going to be probably like let's craft from packaging day so i hope you enjoyed this um again i'll do the girls maybe i'll put them together and then bring them back um uh like come back to glue them together so um you can see those and then i'll put them in sets i have a lot of things i need to put in my etsy shop even Christmas stuff I should have did before Christmas, but um, I just got to a place where I wanted to uh, enjoy Christmas and not be producing. So I hope you have a great Friday night and I will see you again soon. And hi to all my new subscribers that have been messaging me and coming new to my channel in the last few days. Welcome and I hope to see you again. Bye.